This video shows how to install plumbing on a new NGC Quest 10 or Quest 100 system. When installing plumbing, tighten all fittings into their ports. First, you will be preparing the pump head washing system. Start by connecting the inlet line, labeled inlet, to the pump wash inlet port of system pump A, which is the leftmost bottom port. Set up a wash reservoir bottle and place to the side or top of the NGC. Fill the bottle with 20% isopropyl alcohol and cover with the lid. Insert the open end of the inlet line through the hole of the lid and immerse into the reservoir bottle. Next, attach the pump wash priming line to the system pump B wash outlet, rightmost bottom port. Connect a quarter 28 union to the second inlet line. You will use this as the outlet line for the pump washing system. Set this line aside as you will attach it to the priming line after the washing system has been primed. Attach the quarter 28 lure adapter onto a 30 mil syringe and then join this assembly to the priming line. Withdraw the syringe plunger until washing solution appears in the syringe. Detach the syringe and the adapter from the priming line and attach the outlet line with the union. Clean up any storage alcohol that may have spilled during priming. Place the end of the outlet line into the pump head wash reservoir. Next, you will connect the buffer inlet tubing to both system pumps A and B. Securely tighten the fittings to ensure a proper seal and prevent buffer leaks. Place the ends of the inlet tubing into your buffer bottles. Note, inlet solvent filters may be used. Now you will make tubing connections to the inject valve. Connect the waste lines to waste ports 1 and 2 on the inject valve and place the ends into the waste container. The waste container should be placed next to or below the NGC. Do not place the waste container on top of the NGC. Attach the injection port to the front of the inject valve. Attach the sample loop to the ports labeled Loop E and Loop F. Finally, you will attach the outlet tubing and back pressure regulator. Connect line number two into the top of the conductivity monitor and then connect the other end into the 40 PSI back pressure regulator. The arrow on the body of the regulator should point in the direction of flow. Lastly, connect the other end of line number four into the common port of the diverter valve on the BioFrac fraction collector. Follow the instructions for the BioFrac to complete its plumbing.